Hey folks, I'm a huge fan of Camtasia. All my videos here are done with this and we just came out with a update here this week that I'm pretty excited about. If we take a look here, there's been some minor bug fixes and stuff, but we have rulers and guides and that's what I wanted to talk about here, how to use them, what's going on with them and how you can actually use them in videos. So let's go ahead and flip over into Camtasia itself and take a look and see what this actually looks like. So looking inside of Camtasia, everything is kind of set here as is, it's nothing different. But what we can do now is we can start adding some guides and rulers to our canvas that's gonna make this a whole lot better to use in positioning things. Previously, we need to have something on here. Let's uh, go grab some stuff here. Let's grab a static one and let's add, I don't know, this yellow play head here. We have this yellow play button. Uh, we see on the properties area that we can check the color. Uh, and if we go over into the actual video part, we can control its X, Y, and Z locations and its size, all of that. Uh, but maybe there's a spot where I want to consistently have something and I don't want to spend the time to sit there and actually go through and put in those numbers because it can be time consuming, it can be annoying, especially if it's something you do consistently. Uh, so what we have now is rulers. And this is something the Windows version has had for a few months now. It's finally filtered down to the Mac. Uh, so all we're going to do here is go up to our menu bar, go to view, and inside there you're going to see a new and it's going to be enable canvas rulers. When you click on this, you're going to get rulers that pop open over here. So you can see that there's some guide marks already set and we can just click, hold and drag down from there and we can bring a marking on the side. And on the left hand side, you'll see that it gives me my location as far as pixels. So I bring it down all the way down to the center. It's at zero and then I can go up or down to get where I want it to be. And that's all well and good. I can do the same thing here from the right. Just click, hold and drag and bring it over. And now I have a snappable area. It actually will take this and I can snap to that line. I can snap to the top line or the corner and I get those in there. So it's really easy if you're using something consistently, especially if you're like laying out text and stuff, you can just pop a, a guide in there and it's set and ready to go. And if you're done with it, or you don't need it, you can just click and hold on that line and bring it back over onto the rulers themselves at the top and they'll go away. There's two of them there by default. I can also just get rid of those if I wanted to and I'm ready to go and I have a whole bunch of options. This again is gonna make things a lot quicker and easier if you're consistently putting things in a certain spot and usually I sit there and copy and paste stuff and just make sure things don't move, but having a guide to lock things into place makes things a lot easier and makes it a lot more consistent and I'm a big fan of this change. Let me know what you think and what features you wanna see in Camtasia 2023. I'll see you later.